Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Today I have a special for you. So this video is for people that want to use VR but have a disability. For example, if you sit in a wheelchair, then you mostly cannot play games like Onward, where you have to get on the ground and crouch and uh, uh, sneak around and stuff. Normally this won't work, but with this software, Walk in VR, you can fake this controller um, inputs. So for example, you just sit on your wheelchair, but you can still crouch. And I will show you how that works in this software. You can find everything about VNA on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgoose VR, Opperman Events, Andy Defensor VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. If you like to support me for free, why not buy your stuff via my Amazon link? That would be really awesome. You can find it in the description below. So let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, and let's first check out how the software works. So of course you have to install Walk-in VR here in Steam, then just start Steam VR here and click on play on Walk-in VR. And first thing you will notice that there's a wheelchair symbol here. That's good. When, you, when there's this symbol, you installed it right. When you start it for the first time, there's a message that you have to install a special driver. Please confirm that. So, we have diff different functionalities here. The first one is virtual move. This is very, very important. So, you have to turn on your controllers. I turn on my index controllers, but you can use all the other controllers as well, like Windows Mixed Reality controllers, touch controllers, Vive controllers, or whatever. Um, then the software recognizes the controllers here. I, I, let me just move them because they will, uh, they, they will turn off uh, very soon and then I cannot show that to you. So what I want to do now is I want on the walk in VR functionality activated when I press the left A button on my left controllers. So I go knuckle left, that's the index controllers, and then I can choose which button I want to um, activate when I want to use walk in VR. I want to do that on, on the A button, on the left controller, that's it. Left control button, controller, A button, and then, this is very important, choose the functionality. No action doesn't make any sense, <laughs> then he's just doing nothing, um, but if you want to just move left, right, up, down, then choose move. If you want to rotate, you can use rotate. And if you want to move and rotate, choose this. I choose this and I will show it in an example uh, for you later. Then if you put that on the menu button, on the Steam button, and you also want to use the original functionality, so go into Steam VR, then just double click the menu button and you go there in the Steam menu. Um, this is the maximum allowed distance from the center because walking VR just moves around the play space. That's what it does. And for some games that makes a problem. So just leave it on 250. This is a good value. So I will show it in a game later. The next thing, I unfortunately I cannot show this to you because you need two people for that. Um, you can have an assistant control with an Xbox controller with a people with a person helping you. So you sit here in the wheelchair and um, of course the other person cannot use your controllers because you are sitting there. The people should be inside yourself to move your controllers. It doesn't work. So the person that helps you will control your, your VR controllers with an Xbox controller behind you or wherever. And so with the Xbox controller you can fake the input of the Control. So just uh, like move forward, move backward, strafe left, strafe right, rotate left, move up and down. You can even control the trigger and grip buttons if you cannot do it for yourself. That's a very good thing. So just go on enable and then you can do that. Next thing, this I will show you in a game later. Um, the motion range and boost functionality. That means if you want... Uh, to reach some stuff, like uh, I want to reach that that can here, but I cannot because my arms are hurting. I, I cannot, I can just not move my arms very, very 
close to the can. I can only move it a little bit like this because I have problems with my hand. So you can use the booster, you can extend it like like 40, oh, oh sorry, like 40 or whatever. And then what it does, if you move your real hand a little bit, the virtual controller moves a high distance and then you can grab the can, although you are not in the right distance. That That's awesome. It just fakes the acceleration of the controller. And that's really good. What you also can do is, uh, um, do a different position here. Oh, it just doesn't work for now. Just let me stop that and start it again. Yeah, here, you can see that. You can extend and fake the position of the controllers. Whatever that, when you need that, if you can you only have your hands here, but you need a controller here, you can just do the position, whatever you want. That's a good thing. So that's what you can do with the range and boost mode. I will show it. Uh, in a in the game later hand tracking. I cannot show you that as well You need a Kinect controller and then you can do all the you can fake the input of the controllers with uh, Hand tracking of the Kinect controllers. I have no idea if that makes sense But you can try it if you like settings here You can uh, choose uh, reset settings and if you want to start walk in VR automatically when Steam VR starts so that's what you can do here. Um, please note that this must be blue here. Um, so just click on start walk in VR while you're in game. And now I will show it in a good example. I will show you the game Onward. In Onward, you have to crouch very fast. You have to stand up very fast. And if you're sitting in a wheelchair, you cannot do that. But I will show you how you can do that with walk in VR now. In Onward. So let's check this out. Okay, guys. So here we are in the game that's called Onward. And this is a tactical shooter. And it's a good example to use walk in VR because here we don't only want to run like this. This is a normal stuff. But we also want to crouch. And I'm sitting now in a wheelchair or in a chair and if you sit in a wheelchair of course you cannot uh, stand up and crouch and it doesn't work so now I showed you uh, I just showed you how to configure the software and now I put the the um, functionality of walk in VR to the left a button on the index controllers so and normally the game would start like this I'm sitting in a wheelchair now and I can only walk very slow because I'm in a sitting position. So what are we going to do if we want to run fast here? Normally I would stand up, but I cannot. So hit the A button and pull yourself up. Look at this. And now I can run. It's awesome. It just works. And now we can have our weapon, oh I'm sorry, a weapon in our hand that we can run, we can shoot here. So, and if you move to this wall here and we want to crouch, just do like this. Put the A button and then go down, go deeper. And then we are in a crouching position. It's awesome. Without moving my body. Can hide here. Can even go deeper if we like. Look at this. Without moving our body. And then we want to stand up again. Pull yourself up. Oh, sorry, like this. And now we can run again. It's so nice. We can also, if we want, uh, it doesn't make so much sense be because we can just move the, um, the thumbstick. But if we want to sneak around uh, or watch around the corner, we can not only go up and down, we can also go left and right and ri right and left. So if we want to watch around the corner, Look, look at this, we can do like this without moving our thumbstick. I, I have no idea if that makes much sense, but yeah, <laughs> you can do that if, if you want. Awesome, right? So here we can do whatever we want in a seated position on a wheelchair. And that's a really good thing. Um, let's crouch again. <laughs> awesome, right? And let's stand again. So easy and it's very fast. Uh, it's very fast. You can 
uh, really play with other players that uh, play the game in a normal way without problems. That's a good thing. Yeah, guys, so that was uh, the functionality of Walk in VR. Very interesting. Okay, guys, and the next functionality is the boost and position functionality. So you can move your hands on the place where you want. So if you have any problems to move your hands uh, correctly, then you can just compensate that with this function. So the, the weapon there is very far away, as you can see. I cannot grab that. It, I would, I could uh, move down or whatever, but I have the booster set to, I think, 31, and I can just go there and pick up the weapon. <laughs> Normally it would be like here, but I can pick it up if it's lying there because of the boost function. function. It's it, it accelerates the movement um, of your hand. It, of course, it feels a little bit unrealistic because my hand is here, is around here and not there. But I, I can pick up stuff then. And it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. You can play around with that. You can use very, very much settings, uh, many settings there in the, in the menu and uh, can play around with that. A very, very good thing. And that's the second functionality. And that's all I can show you now with my, my, my stuff here. Otherwise, you, you need two people to help you. But it's a very good thing. And yeah, let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Walk in VR, guys. So this is so awesome. I cannot tell you how good that is. Wow. For people that really have uh, problems to reach stuff, sitting in a wheelchair, oh, that cannot really move behind or uh, bend uh, or whatever. So you can configure everything you need to play every game, even games with, where you have to move very fast and, and very uh, hard and you can play all the stuff with that. Um, of course, this is still in development. So uh, there will be a lot of new stuff and a lot of bug fixes. You, the version is free, but if you buy the premium version, you can um, support the developers and then the banner that sometimes appear in the games will, will uh, not appear with Walk in VR. It's just awesome and I'm really thankful to the people that uh, did that. Um, so if you have um, friends or relatives that have some disabilities and want to play VR, please spread this video Tell them you can still play all the virtual reality games uh, you want with this Walk in VR software. Awesome. So if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.